Hey everyone, it's Jess from Cold Essie, and today we're sublimating car flags. So stick along for a step-by-step -step tutorial. I'm just gonna start by printing my designs on the Beaver Text Print Sublimation Paper, size 11 by 17. And we're using the Sawgrass SG-1000 to do this. First thing I'm gonna do is place my heat press pad inside of the flag. Now this is gonna help prevent the transfer from sublimating through to the other side, and it'll also help with placement by keeping the transfers away from the seams. Now I'll take my transfers and I'll place them on the flag as well. We have our Stingray's logo here that'll go on the bottom and the Stingray image right above it. And it might take a few minutes to get the perfect placement. And once you find that, you'll use your heat tape to tape it down. So I'm moving on over to my heat press. I have it set for 400 degrees at 40 seconds. And we're gonna take the flag, we're gonna place it so that the edge of this is hanging off. That's just to ensure that it doesn't melt off in the heat press. And we are doing one side at a time. So I'm gonna take my finishing sheet, place it right on top, and we're gonna send it under. So I'm gonna remove this from my heat press, and it is really hot, so I'm just gonna let it cool off on the side. All right, so I'm just gonna carefully remove these transfers off of the flag. There's our Florida Beach High logo, and then we'll move on to the Stingrays. There we go. And now we're just gonna flip this over and we're gonna put our transfers um, on the other side as well. Okay. So again, we're gonna place the stingrays right at the bottom, just like we did with the front side. And the Florida Beach High logo right above it. And we're gonna use heat tape to secure it into place. Then once I'm done securing these into place, we're gonna move over to our heat press again. All right, so I'm back at my heat press, and since we do have a transfer already on one side of the flag, I placed a finishing sheet on the bottom flatten of our heat press so that it doesn't sublimate through. And then we're also just gonna go ahead and put a finishing sheet right on top as well. Kind of sandwich it in between, and we'll press. And again, I'm gonna remove this from my heat press, and we're gonna let it cool to the side. Okay, so we'll carefully remove these transfers. Here's the first one and then the stingrays. And we're gonna use the stick that comes with the sublimation flag to insert it and get it ready to be placed on a car. And as you can see, these barbed edges are really gonna help the flag stay in place. Now off camera, we did go ahead and sublimate the one ply sublimation flag and you will follow the same direction, so 400 degrees for 40 seconds. So now that these are done, I wanna go ahead and explain the differences between the two ply sublimation flags and the one ply. Now the two ply is gonna be really high quality and it's gonna last you longer. And it also gives you the opportunity to sublimate on both sides. Plus the plastic on the car holder stick is much more durable. Now the one ply flag only allows you to sublimate on one side because the material is so thin, but it's a really great value option, especially for things like giveaways. So if you wanna find any of these products that we used today in this video, visit ColemanandCompany.com. Thanks for watching.